What's up guys, it's Nick, and this is my third time trying uh, this. Anyways, let's just forget that, and let's focus on what's here. Here we have the Nerf Icon Series Mag Strike. Anyways, um, so what we have here is a blaster that went terrible. So back in September of 2020, I went to Toys R Us and got one of these. Yeah, I'm using an arrow to point. I got one of these from Toys R Us. I'll just toss that away. And so at Toys R Us, I got it. It worked really well at home, but then it broke. Yeah, it, it broke. And so I brought it back to Toys R Us, like any reasonable person would do. And then, oh, that sounded weird when I said do. Anyways. At Toys R Us, they gave me one for this one, so I exchanged for a good one, and that good one lasted for like two days. It was pretty good. It actually worked really well, better than I was expecting, and then it just failed. Yeah, it it broke. The magazine no longer comes up. So, if you are thinking of getting an Icon Series Mag Strike, don't do it. It's thirty dollars. You may think, hey, that's pretty cheap. For a big blaster that's air pump, and they tried bringing back air pump, they ruined it because it's just broken. It's broken. This thing. It will only shoot the top dart because that's the only one that's facing out of it. You can hear the piece that fell out. Ugh, it's just a mess of a blaster. If I ever get another one, it will be an end strike one because end strike ones are own. They only work. Only end strike ones work. And even then, I've seen some people who have broken it. Anyways, so I'll just show how it would work. How it would work. So basically, normally you would pump like this, and then you would fire. Yeah, but mine's broken, and so it doesn't fire. It holds a 10 dart mag, which is compatible with the other mag strikes. Yeah, but this doesn't even help me with this blaster. It's just a piece of garbage. It has a tactical rail, but they never fix the stupid issue of the scopes and mounts that you put on top if you're just sliding off. That thing, this rail is terrible, this blaster's terrible, the stock is terrible, it does not feel comfortable at all. The only thing that feels comfortable is this part up here. The, the trigger is so annoying. And I hate this blaster. And I hate this video. Because <laughs> I took it three times. Anyways. In summary, don't buy this blaster. Worst blaster of 2020. Uh, or actually, no, this is 2019. Sorry, this is worst blaster of 2019. I'm sorry, guys. Worst blaster of 2019. Worst blaster of 2020 is the warden. Because it just breaks. Anyways, don't buy the Icon Series Mag Strike. It's broken. It does not work. And if you buy it, you're you're gonna it's you're gonna say bye bye to thirty dollars. Yeah, I know it's well thirty dollars Canadian. I don't know how much that is American. Probably like twenty five dollars maybe. But yeah, if you just say goodbye to thirty dollars if you're Canadian, and if you're American, say goodbye to like twenty five dollars. Yeah, so. Now, now you're just gonna be like, oh, I just spent money on a blaster that doesn't work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back to the Maverick, and then, then the Maverick's gonna break down on you, and you're gonna say, the, the, what do I use? What do I use? Oh, I have a jolt. I have a jolt to use. Oh no, a jolt. I, I can kill people with that, right? No, you can't hit anyone. Yeah. So, yeah. another thing to know is that this does have a clip on a clip, huh? Yeah, it's funny. Totally funny. I just, I don't recommend this thing. This thing is the worst piece of garbage in the world. And if I were to return it, like, it's way past due to return it. But, like, back when I, when this one broke as well, if I were to return it, like, my parents were saying, it's just gonna make them annoyed. But I want Hasbro to see this video and know that their blasters, or this blaster of theirs, is failing. And, I'm like, that's just... 
Hasbro, please, can you test your blasters before you send it out? I know it's factories and you're making millions of them, but please, just like, have some people just like, test it. Because if it breaks, that's not good. I had one that only worked twice before, like, the fragile uh, insides of it just messed itself up. Yeah, so, I'll show you guys what happened. So, right there, right there, there's usually a piece right there that moves it up. And then this is what uh, blows the darts out. But this part usually moves the clip up. This part also helps. But this part usually moves the clip up. And... After using it a few times, it wears this part out. It wears it out. And so because of that, the piece that was there falls falls in the thing because it breaks apart. Because this blaster is dull as ever can be. It's just not worth it. And all those big YouTubers that get it, they use it like once or twice and they put it in their arsenal. They're not using it to have like a good time. They're just using it to review for other people. And them doing that, they're not testing it out enough to show that it's such a bad blaster. It's really bad. There's nothing good to say about it. I guess like you want it so then you can add it to your wall and say hey guys look i have this nerf blaster and it's totally working yeah sorry buddy but you're not gonna get that if you want a blaster that can shoot one dart this is it because well sorry if you want a blaster that can shoot one dart use the jolt jolt's way more reliable and it's so much easier to reload because this thing, you add it 10 darts, you pump it up, and it'll just fire one dart because the thing won't rise. Just like, go away. Sorry, let's get, let's get this one. Go away. The clicker gun is going to destroy you. Ah! Now it's broken. Anyways. In summary, I'm going to title this video probably like, Nerf Icon series mag strike worst blaster of 2019 bro and then I'll put um in brackets probably like uh broke on me twice I don't know I don't know we'll see what it is anyways thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time goodbye